tell us about your background in track and field. How get you interested by pole vaulting? Okay, so when I was young, I think uh, around 10 years, um, I w went to a track club in uh, Siegen because my dad also was a track and field athlete. Yeah, and then I started uh, with a decathlon um, when I was young. I used to play basketball before. Um, it's like, I think, eight years ago. And from the basketball, I changed to the track and field because my mother always told me that it's better for me to to run, to jump and to do stuff like that. What is so difficult about pole vault from a scientific point of view? First of all, it's very interesting because you have to run fast, you have to jump high and then you have to transform your kinetic energy into pole energy. Running speed into pole bending. And with the pole bending you can jump high because from the bended pole the energy comes back and kicks you high above the bar. So the most important thing is to bring all the different things together. It's speed, it's gymnastics, it's power and something like weightlifting. So we need all these things to jump very high in pole vault. What are the mechanical forces involved in pole vaulting? There's a lot of forces acting in, in pole vaulting, this is true. First of all, you have to take off, like in the long jump or the triple jump. There, maybe you have uh, about five to four times body weight forces under your foot. And um, what's, what comes additionally in pole vaulting is you have to plant the pole. You know, you have to take off with your feet and you have to plant the pole. That's similar like taking off with the arms. Okay, so you get, try to, to, to drive hard into the pole and this is a push against your body. And also in this position, a lot of energy acts on, on the body. It's about maybe two times body weight. We have different poles. So I have eight different poles from 460 to 490 and 5 meters. So the 430 pole or 460 pole I'm using for a shorter approach, like for six steps. And for the longer run, the, the run up you're using in the competition, you're making 16 steps and um, you're using uh, a 5 meter pole. So this is a 5 meter pole. Um, and it's measured in the length in 5 meter and 40.3. That's um, how, how big you have to be to using this pole. It's like 90 kilograms. You have to be 90 kilograms to bend the pole. And how do you put the pole in the box? Um, yeah, you, it's a big coordination, the pole vault and the takeoff. So, um, the takeoff is the most important thing in the pole vault. Um, it's uh, in three steps, like you're starting with left, here, here, and here. So you prepare in three steps the takeoff. How long did it take for you to be able to complete at this level? Oh yeah, I'm 25 now and um, I'm doing this sport since I'm 12, 10. Um, when I got 16 I did it really powerful and that means that I did five trainings in the week around six seven years um, to train hard to stay focused. Oh. Sounds interesting and hard. <laughs> do you have an advice for kids who want to do a track and field and especially pole rolling? You always have to uh, have fun with your training partners and uh, with track and field you have to enjoy it, the competitions and don't be scared or afraid to compete because when you're afraid you're making mistakes and uh, you can't do mistakes in competition. But the best idea is to start with running and long jump and if you are really safe in this you can start with pole vault. We start very small with like 1 meter 50 and very very small poles. Do you have uh, to live healthy? Um, yeah, we have six times a week training. It's from Monday to Saturday and um, a training session is two hours and um, yeah, you have to, to, to cut your hobbies and uh, to focus on training, to focus on your nutrition. So you have to eat well to perform well. Sometimes it's very hard, especially in the preparation in winter. But um, yeah, it's what we're doing and uh, I'm enjoying it. Okay.